In this video we are going to be using SketchUp to create ourselves a 3D model of a bird box or a birdhouse, whatever you want to call it. It's going to look something like the one you can see here on your screen. It's fairly simple, it's just made up of rectangles. Um, we just modify them slightly to get the final shape that you can see in front of you. Got a little hole in the front that we cut out and a little perch that we extend out of the bird box as well for the birds to sit on. Apart from that, fairly straightforward model. So let's get started on making it today. You'll need to load up SketchUp and from your menu at the top left I want you to make a new model and select the millimeters template. Okay, once you've done that you'll end up with a screen looking like this. Okay, just click on the person you can see on your screen and press delete on your keyboard to get rid of them. And we're going to switch our view to the front view so we can start drawing the front of the bird box first. So in this panel on the right hand side, go to the third last option, that little movie clapper, which is your views panel. And I want you to select this front view just here, it's the little house you can see at the chimney. That just swings your view around to the front. Okay, you can press the arrow in the top right to close that panel. And now we can start drawing the front of our bird box. Okay, we're going to start with a rectangle, which is quite simple. Over in your menu down here, about halfway down, I want you to select the rectangle shape. Click on the origin and you can start dragging out a rectangle. Alright, so you can draw it any size, but what we're going to do is just go with a set of dimensions that I've come up with a bit earlier. So I'm going to actually type in 125, 230. And you'll see those dimensions appearing down in the bottom right hand corner of the page. Once you've got 125, 230, press enter. That's going to give you a small rectangle on the page. Okay, you can see the dimensions down here that I was talking about. It's 125 millimeters wide by 230 mils high. Scroll up on your mouse to zoom in on your rectangle so you get a bit of an idea or a closer idea of what you are actually making. Now from here we're going to start to draw in uh, the shape of the roof. Okay, and to do that we're going to have to actually delete some of this rectangle and put it into the shape of a triangle. So to do that we just go and grab our line tool from our um, toolbox here on the left. Looks like a little pencil. And we're going to go over to the top edge of this rectangle and just run our pencil across it until you see a blue dot appear like that. That's the midpoint. I want you to click once, let go of your mouse and you'll see that a line is following your mouse cursor. Bring it over to the left edge now of this rectangle and just move it up until you're roughly at a 45 degree angle and you'll see the line turn pink just to show you that you are at 45 degrees and I'm just going to click a second time to drop that line into position. Do the same on the other side so click on the midpoint at the top come down 45 degrees and click. You can now grab your select tool which is the white arrow at the top of your toolbox on the left and click on those lines you don't need anymore and press delete on your keyboard and that will actually get rid of them and that section of shape. And you're left with the front view of your birdhouse. Okay, next thing we need to do is just make this 3D. If you hold down your mouse wheel and move your mouse, you'll start to spin around. Okay, we're just orbiting it around our shape here and you can see that it's a flat 2D shape. Looking at the back of my shape here, you can see it's a darker, a darker shade. I'm going to go and grab my push-pull tool. It's a little arrow that looks like pointing up out of a square there. That's going to allow me to extrude this shape and make it 3D. So I'm going to click on the back of it and just pull it to the right. And you can see that it makes it 3D. Now we're going to be specific again here. We're going to pretend that the piece of timber we're using is 15 millimeters here. So we're going to type in 15 mil, which is 15, and press enter. And that makes a 15 millimeter width on that piece of timber. Okay, so what we're going to do with this front section now is triple click our mouse on it. So one, two, three, and that selects it all. Once it's all selected, just right click on it, make it a component, and give it a name. So I'm just going to call it front, and click OK. You'll see a blue border pop up around it, and that just shows that you've made it into a component, which is exactly what we're after. Alright, so we can click off that now. That's the front of our bird box done. What we're going to do next is go back to our views panel over here and we want to switch around from the front view which we had before to the back view. Okay, so choose the back of the house up the top here and it will swing you around to the back like so. Just make sure you've got the 
y-axis, this blue line here running down the right hand side of your shape. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to be drawing a rectangle which is going to be one of the side walls. So go back over to your toolbox on the left and grab a rectangle. And I want you to start in the bottom right corner. Just click once and drag out and you'll see that you've got the rectangle following your mouse cursor. I want you to type in um, 167 for the first number. That's 167 millimetres in height. And 15 for the second number. So that's going to be 15 wide. And just press enter. And you'll see this rectangle appear on the back of your bird box. Using the push-pull tool again. I'm just going to swing back around here. I'm going to click on this rectangle I just drew and pull it out. Now it needs to come out 100 millimeters, so just type in 100 and press enter. Okay, and that's the side wall of our little birdhouse. Okay, pretty straightforward. What I'm going to get you to do now is double, uh, sorry, triple click on this side wall. So one, two, three. You see that that's selected the entire side wall there. And do as you did before by right clicking on the shape, choosing make component, and giving it a name, so I'll just call it side, whoops, side one, and click OK. Remember we've got two sides. All right, so that's side one looking good. Next thing I'm going to do is just duplicate this wall and put it over on the other side. So the easiest way to do that is to hold down your mouse wheel and scroll, oh, sorry, drag it around until you get to the base view, which is something like that. So you can see the bottom of our birdhouse. From here we're going to grab our move tool from our toolbox, so this bunch of arrows. We're going to come across to this side wall and hover around the bottom left corner until you see that little purple dot appear. When you see that purple dot appear in the bottom left hand corner of that rectangle, hold down control on your keyboard, which is going to allow us to duplicate this shape when we drag it. So while we're holding control, just click and drag across and it's going to bring in a duplicate copy of that side wall. And I want you to snap it into the opposite left-hand corner like so. Okay, pretty straightforward. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is we're just going to stick with this move tool. And we're going to do the same for this front wall shape. So let me just swing around. So this front wall here needs to be duplicated on the other ends of those two side walls. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to hover. Actually, I might just grab my white arrow and click off everything for a minute. I'm going to grab um, the move tool again, hover around this bottom left corner, hold control and drag up. We've got a duplicate copy that we're just going to snap in about there. Actually I'll undo that, it should have been the top left corner that I grabbed there. So grab that top left corner while holding control, drag it up and that should snap into place pretty much right there. Okay, so now we've got our birdhouse, well, the outer walls, all done. Okay, it should look something like that. Zoom back a bit so you can see it a bit clearer. Pretty straightforward. Uh, we'll just close off the bottom next. So grab your rectangle tool again. Just click in the top left corner and drag down to the bottom right corner. And that'll close it off. Using your push-pull technique again, we'll give that a bit of... Um, bit of thickness, we'll make it 15 as well, the same width as the side wall. So you now got a base on your bird box there. Okay, so that's starting to come together. What I might do is just go back to my views panel here. You can click around the different views so you get a bit of an idea of how it's looking from all angles. Alright, so that, oops, I'll just zoom back a bit and then go back to that view. That's roughly what we've got so far. Alrighty, so the next step we need to do is working on putting the roof onto our bird box. Okay, so in your views panel over here, on the left hand side, oh, sorry, on the right hand side, remember we've got it just hiding in here. I want you to go to the side view. Okay, it doesn't matter which side, so left view or right view, doesn't really matter. I'll just go to this right view for now. And we're going to grab our rectangle tool again. And I want you to click in the top left corner of our bird box on top of that triangle. Come across to the other side here, and we're going to pretty much click on that top right corner now, and then drag down. As you drag down, okay, what I want you to do is type in a comma first of all, 
which sounds a bit confusing, and then 25. Okay, so if you look at the box down in the bottom right corner that says dimensions, you'll see a comma and then 25. We press enter. And that just puts a little section of roof up there on top of our bird box. From there, we're just going to go and grab our push pull tool. And we're going to push pull that up 15 millimeters. So pull it up and type in 15, press enter. So I'll swing around, you can see what's happening there at the moment. All right, and then we're going to push pull this down. 92 millimeters. So grab the base here, pull it down. See, it's starting to look like a roof, and it's 92 millimeters. We wanted it. We'll press enter. So that's what you're left with. Okay, one side of the roof looking pretty nice. Okay. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we are going to grab our select tool and triple click on this section of roof. We need to make it a component. So once you triple click it, we'll select it. Just right click on it, make a component, we'll just call it Roof Right. Click OK. It's the right hand side of our roof drawn. Uh, on the next thing, oh sorry, on the other side we're going to do the same thing pretty much. So let's go to our left hand side view. And basically from here, what we're going to be doing is um, just repeating what we did on the opposite side. So go and grab your rectangle tool. Start right at the top uh, left there across to the top right and drag down. Make sure you got that green line that looks like it's coming down this face of the roof. Now I want you to type in a comma and then 15. Oop, that just completely disappeared. I'll just do that one more time. Top left to top right, drag it down, click comma and then 15. Press enter and you'll see a little um, shape appear up here. Grab your push pull tool and pull that up 15 millimeters. Okay, and then we're going to pull it down 117 millimeters. So grab this base section, pull it down, type in 117, press enter. And that should be level with the other side. So if I go to my front view here, that looks pretty even to me. You can grab your tape measure here and measure it from point to point if you want. And make sure both sides are exactly the same but just trust me on this one 117 mils should do the trick okay so grab your select tool i'm just going to move around and triple click on that side of the roof and make it a component as well so that'll be actually roof left i think i'll call it press ok all right um next thing we're going to do I think we're going to have to start doing a little hole on the front, so let's go back to our front view. And we're going to start working on cutting out the hole uh, for our little birds to fly into. Now this is where it gets a little bit tricky. So to start with, I want you to go and grab your tape measure from the toolbox on the left. And not right on the bottom line, it's the line above it here. You can see the one on the red there. I'm going to come across to the midpoint there and just click and drag up 100 mil. Okay, you can see as I drag up the length in the bottom right corner changing. You can just type in 100 if you want and press enter. And that's given us a dashed line, which is going to be a bit of a guide for us in just a moment. Now we're going to draw another line that goes from the top straight through to the bottom. Okay, um, something like that will do. So you've got an intersection there showing us roughly the middle of our front face. Okay. Uh, we'll grab our white arrow now and just click on this front face so you can see it's a component at the moment. All right, just right click on that once you've selected it and just choose make unique. Okay, because we duplicated a copy of that and put it on the back of our birdhouse over here, whatever edits we make to this front section would also happen to the back section if we didn't make it unique. So now that we've made it unique, any editing we do here, for example, cutting a hole out for the bird to fly into, should only occur on this front face and not the back one. Okay, uh, just to make sure we're working on this front face, just double click on it. And that brings us into, I guess, what we call isolation mode. So we're just working on this front face now. Okay, we're going to draw a 30 millimeter radius circle coming out of this center point just here. So in our shapes, so we're going to choose a circle now. Now click right on that center point, drag out, and just type in 30. Press enter. 
you'll end up with a circle looking something like that. We're going to push-pull the circle 15 millimeters inwards to make a hole. So grab your push-pull tool now, and swing it around a little bit on an angle, just click and drag to the right so it's going inwards, and make sure you type in 15, and press enter. And you'll see that's cut through that 15 millimeter piece of timber we had there at the front, and you can see inside the box. Okay, so that's the inside view of our bird box, looking pretty sweet. Um, let me just move this back up into the center. All right. Um, now the next step, what we need to do is grab our select tool, double click out of that isolation mode. Okay, so now we can have a good look at our bird box once again. Um, we're going to grab our tape measure over here again and we're going to measure from the top of the base I'm going to go up 50 millimeters so top of the base here I'm going to go up once we click 50 mil so just type in 50 press enter okay and you can see a little dash appears there if a horizontal line doesn't appear I want you to draw a horizontal line that just goes across to the side and you'll see a dashed horizontal line appear we need that there to help us out with our little perch that we're going to draw next. Okay, so grab your select tool again and double click on this front face once again to bring us back into isolation mode. So we're just working on this front face. Okay, we're going to draw another circle. This time six millimeters radius is what we're after. So grab your circle. It's going to come out of this center point here we just drew. And I said six mil is all we need. So type in six and I want you to press enter. Now we're going to push-pull it again, 15 millimeters inwards. Okay, so push-pull it back to the right and make it 15. So it cuts through the timber again, and we've now got a second little hole below our bigger one. Okay. Um, grabbing your select tool now, just swing around to the side, and I want you to right-click on the side wall just here, and I want you to choose hide. I want you to do the same for the back wall. Click on it and then right click, which is hide. Okay, that's going to give us a clearer view inside of our bird box and it's going to allow us to work on this perch a little bit easier. Okay, this where it gets a little bit confusing, so I'm just going to zoom down here a little bit so you can see things a little bit clearer. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is delete these dashed lines that you can see through this little hole. So just click on them if you can and press delete and they should just disappear like so. Okay, that looks a bit better. If you want, you can even delete this bigger one up the top here. There's no need for that anymore in our design. So you've got rid of all those dashed lines, which were our guides. We're going to add some more in in just a moment down here near this little hole. Okay, so on back view, I just want to make sure I'm right on this back view. I'm going to grab the tape measure once again. And we're going to draw in the center point of the smaller hole here. Okay, you want to get this center point drawn. I'm going to come down a bit so you can see that a bit clearer. So I guess the best way to draw that um, would be, I'm going to start down the bottom here and drag up like so. Oops, that didn't work like I wanted it to. How about I just draw it like this? One there. And one there. That's better. Okay, so just your mouse will snap into position when you're drawing those lines. So I just clicked on one end. Went across to the other end, finished it, clicked at the top, clicked at the bottom. And that just gave me that center point where those lines intersect from one another. All right, so now that we've got that, what we're going to do is we're going to grab our circle tool. And we're going to draw a circle from that center point, bring it out, 6 mil. Press enter. Okay, that has not come out 6 millimeters I was hoping for. It's still not quite right. Let me have a close look here and see what's going on. There we go. I'm not even going to type in 6mm. I'm just going to bring it out to the outer circle and click. Okay, so now I've got a little circle covering up that hole. That's what I was looking for. Okay, so if you're having the same issues as me, just zoom in and just click and drag it out. You can see in your radius down the bottom here, that it should be six millimeters. All right, so what we're going to do next is just grab our select tool again and swing back around to the front view. 
we're going to push pull that little circle okay so let's see if we can grab the push pull tool reach in and grab that circle pull it out 65 millimeters okay so type in 65 press enter you've now got a little perch okay it's sitting nicely inside that hole and it protrudes out for the bird to sit on okay pretty straightforward now from our panel on the right here, I want you to choose these little glasses, the second last option, which is display. And up the top here where it says unhide, I want you to select all. And that will just bring back those walls we deleted before on the back and the side. So now we can see our bird box a lot clearer. Alright. So just double click out of isolation mode now. If you haven't done so already, that will just take you back out. Um, I'm going to just go back to my front view for a moment. <laughs> Now we just need to colour it in because that's our bird box pretty much made. Okay, so to colour in, we need to use our, uh, what do they call it, a paint bucket tool or paint tool pretty much. So grab your paint tool from your left hand panel. You'll see in your materials panel that's appeared, well, this little cube here, that you've got some colours to work with. Well, I'm going to go over to this magnifying glass and browse for some colours. Okay, you've got heaps here to pick from, um, different categories. If you go towards the bottom, you'll see wood. Okay, and you can choose any of these woods, but basically I'm just going to choose the first wood here. Um, and I want to colour the roof in that colour. Looks good, and I might do the base the same. Painful doing each side one by one. Might have been easier just to select it. Um, and then I'm going to choose a lighter timber colour for the rest of it. So oh, let's just try this one here. see how it looks there we go that looks like it's all colored in so there we have it that is our bird box all done and dusted okay when you're done make sure you got the top and save it okay, give it a name like birdhouse or bird box whatever you want to call it and i will catch you in the next sketchup tutorial